What's going on everybody? Jake here with the Theme Park Shark and tonight we're here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at this place called The Island. They have this big Ferris wheel. I'm on my hotel room balcony right now. I'm staying at the Margaritaville Hotel. But anyway, we're gonna go check out the Pirates Voyage Dinner Show. It's this massive dinner theater right down the block from here. We'll go check it out and I'll give you guys a review. Maybe I'll show you some of the show. So let's go check it out. We just got to our seats here. It's a pretty easy and smooth entrance process. Here's what the theater looks like. It's an arena set up. Pretty big. We went down to their bar area and got some drinks here and they come with this cool cup. It's 8.30 now and the lights are starting to dim. It looks like the show's starting. They start you off with some chicken soup. Now they're bringing out the food. They started off with a piece of fried chicken breast and we still have the soup here. I think they're gonna bring more while the show's going on. And now we have some sort of baked potato here. Chicken, baked potato, and pirate show. Now we got some ham. Ham, chicken, potato, and soup, and pirates. Now we have some corn on the cob. This might be our full plate, but we'll find out in a second. It's a lot of food to eat. They just brought out the dessert now. It's basically a personal sized apple pie. Pretty good though. Overall, the food was better than I was expecting. So we just got back from the pirate show and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. Overall, I, I'm a big fan. I thought it was really cool. When we got there, the entry process was smooth. They gave you your ticket to the door and everyone filed in. They made sure everyone was six feet apart to uh, adhere to the social distancing guidelines. Once we sat down, our server, Caesar, was awesome. All the food was brought smoothly. No issues there. He got us any drinks we wanted. And then, um, let's go over the food for a second. So the food, there was baked chicken, corn, ham, soup, a biscuit. Food was good, wasn't great, but I mean, I wasn't expecting anything fantastic. I was going to a tourist dinner show, so the food was good. And then we had that apple pie at the end, which was also, actually, that was really tasty. The show was high quality. I mean, I was surprised at a very, very high production value. There was music, crazy lighting, pyrotechnics, um, the water caught on fire, projection mapping, live, oh yeah, if you're not a fan of live animals and shows then you might not like it because they had some live animals, but um, the actors were great too, there were superb stunts, um, and the storyline was pretty easy to follow, it's meant for little kids obviously, and the, it's meant for the whole family, but um, at tonight's show most of the crowd was adults, 
and everyone seemed to enjoy it. They had the bar downstairs, you could go get your drinks, bring them to you, and then after you got your drink, the first time you had to buy the souvenir cup, and then the bartenders would come up and they'd refill your drink for you if you needed it, for a price, of course. But um, I learned that the show is new. It opened in May of 2019, so it's only a little bit more than a year old. Overall, I would recommend it if you're in the Pitch and Forge area. I highly suggest the uh, Pirates Voyage dinner show. It's owned by Dolly Parton. It's one of her shows. Actually, I'm pretty sure she sang one of the songs in it. But um, I was a big fan of the show. I mean, if you're in town here at Pitch and Forge, I definitely put it on the list. I haven't tried out the other dinner shows, but from what I saw at Pirates Voyage, I would definitely recommend it to people. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave us a like and hit that subscribe button. And we'll catch you here next time at the Theme Park Shark. Thank you guys for watching.